Wichita is a con artist um, who has a little sister that uh, kind of is a paper moon style con artist as well. And um, that's kind of how we've made our life together. We've kind of been on the run from something for a long time before zombies ever took over the world. And um, not really that much has changed now that zombies are, you know, uh, everywhere because we just kind of live the way we always have, which is uh, outside the law. This script was incredibly different than anything I had ever read. And, um, you know, there have been zombie comedies before, but this was, um, it, this wasn't a satire at all. This was just a, a very, you know, the way these people react is very accurate in this situation. And um, the zombies are scary. And a lot of these scenes are really, really scary because um, it, it's not a joke by any means. But these characters are really funny. And um, it kind of makes, for some reason, I read this script and I was like, ah, now I can relate to how people would feel if the world was post-apocalyptic and uh, uh, zombie-ridden. And uh, the fact that I could say that after reading the script was reason enough to, to want to do the movie. Abigail and I go by Emma Gale when we're together. Um, I don't have a sister, and uh, Abby doesn't have a sister. We both have brothers named Spencer, ironically, but, um, but yeah, neither of us have sisters, and I've always wanted a little sister, and she told me she always wanted a big sister, so um, it's been really, like, really, really special for me to, uh, to get to hang out with her and work with her and just, you know, form a relationship with her just because she's the coolest 12-year-old you're ever gonna meet and maybe one of the coolest people of any age you'll ever meet. Jesse's amazing, hilarious, maybe the funniest person I've ever met. Uh, his delivery and timing is, is out of this world. I've never met anybody like him and um, I love him. I love him.